Hey guys, we're Double J Barbecue. I'm Jerry. I'm Jimmy. Welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> today's video is going to be a little bit more so about a product review uh, than a cook. Um, what we're going to do today, cooking wise, you've already seen us do uh, as far as ingredients goes, but um, we're going to try to give you an idea of, uh, of uh, how a product works. It'll be the first time for us. We borrowed it from a buddy of ours. What is it, bud? It's a um, butterball turkey fryer. It's an indoor turkey fryer. Cooks up to a 20 pound, two pound turkey. We got a, what do we got, a 20 pound turkey? We got a 20 pounder, yep. We're going to put some Cajun seasoning inside of this and Cajun seasoning outside. We'll go roughly with that. We're going to see how this turkey fryer does. We'll show you around this thing and uh, we're going to fry a turkey and eat good later. So yes, uh, hang in there. We'll, uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got this, this butter ball. They, they come in a, several sizes. This is the extra large. Um, it's built well. It's made of stainless steel on the outside. It's got, it'll hold three gallons of olive oil. I'm not olive oil. We got painted oil on here. But it'll hold three gallons of oil. It's got a nice little basket here. We see our oil in there. It's, it's built real well. We're going to, um, again, we've never tried this before. We've, never, we've done them outside before, but never inside. What it, our buddy did tell us was that it takes a little while for this oil to heat up. So we've actually had this oil heating for about an hour. It's ready to go. We're going to um, dress this bird and we're going to drop it in there. Okay, the ingredients are real simple. We're going to inject the bird with this Cajun injection Creole butter. Then we're going to put some mustard on top of it. We're going to add a little bit of this Tony Sriracha juice. And then we're going to add some ground cayenne pepper to the top of it. Very simple, very easy. It's going to be quick to go. All right, guys, we got this turkey to, we got it dressed. We're going to pick this thing up. We put it in the basket. We're just going to drop it into this oil. And we're going to hope it don't make a mess all over the place. We're going to drop it in slowly. That's what that's all we gotta do. They're saying three and a half to four minutes a pound, so we're gonna give this about 90 minutes. Give or take some time. But we're gonna let this go and we'll be back with you when it's, when we pull it out. Alright guys, turkey is done. We went uh, about 10 more minutes than we anticipated. Uh it's a 20 pound turkey. Uh we were shooting for an hour and a half on this. We checked it with a thermometer. Uh, wasn't quite done yet. We want an extra 10 minutes. We're sitting at about an hour and 40 minutes. So, what is our honest opinion about this? Um, it works. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Great color on the turkey. But, does it work quite as well as we wanted? No. I don't think so either. Um, so here's, what we, here's where we think that the, uh, the downfall is. You're cooking such a large object such as this turkey and you're heating the oil with an electric element. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't leave my turkey sit out to get room temperature before I put it in, in the oven or the, the fryer. Um, so we put a cool turkey, not a cold turkey, it was thawed out, but it was out of the refrigerator. And obviously that sucked all the temperature out of the oil and it just did not, it took forever to recover. Um, I think this thing would work great for maybe some chicken wings or, or even a small chick uh, a small chicken. Yeah, this big of a turkey, it looks good. It does look good, but but the skin is not as crispy as we would like it to be. That's right. I can tell you right now that's going to be our be a problem. But we couldn't control the heat once we put it in there like you can on the outside um, propane 
what are those propane cooker? Yep, yep, just can't get it to recover quite as fast. Um, it took I don't know, most most of the cooking time that we anticipated to, to get the oil back up to uh, 375. So I I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That I'd run run out and buy one. But. I wouldn't run out and get one either. But but, but they do if if if. if I would cook it outside. Like we we cooked several turkeys outside on with propane, and that's the way we're gonna go. I mean, if some people, you know, if you don't feel comfortable using the propane, this is certainly a great alternative, um, and it's safer. I mean, you know, there's no fire, there's no flame, so you don't have to worry about that. But I, I think I'll stick with my uh, my propane burner. Absolutely. But um, so we're gonna get this thing out, guys. We're gonna let it finish draining here for a few more minutes. Uh, slice it up. We've got a little party that we're headed to uh, this evening, so. Um, we're going to feed some friends with it and enjoy ourselves. Jimmy, close us out, man. Guys, if you like this, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment, please. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd like to thank all of our new subscribers. We're, we're, we're start, we went over 1,000 a little while ago, and we're actually moving, which we're real happy. Yeah. Again, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.